distance stands the little white house of Mrs. Pope, a widow, with the Atlanta Decatur Road, now DeKalb Avenue, running nearby. On this particular day, the storm of battle finds its eye in and around this brick house belonging to Troop Hurt. Till mid-afternoon, nearly all the fighting had raised south of the rail. Just to the rear of this Confederate salient stand five cast-iron guns left there by the Federal troops commanded by Captain DeGrasse. But the South Carolinians could not remove these guns because almost all the battery horses had been shot by the retreating force. Beside the broken picket fence reclines the broken body of a young soldier. Answering his cry for water, another young soldier bends over him. Mortal enemies and blood brothers. The fallen Confederate and the ministering Federal are the Martin brothers of Tennessee. In this ambulance, also wending towards Sherman's headquarters, reclines Brigadier General and F. Force, shot through the face of Leggett's hill. Consoling him and leading his horse is the General's son. Mr. Wilson Taylor and his 11 team members were trying to complete this task. Unfortunately, three days before they were finished, General John Alexander Logan, the gentleman you see on the horse with his hat in hand, had passed.